Today's Toy Spot, we'll be having a look at the Hasbro The Amazing Spider-Man. We're looking at comic series Mega Cannon Spider-Man. These have just now hit, at least hit my local Walmart where I found these particular figures. These are the three and three quarter inch figures as seem to be taking a page from the Transformers, coincidentally also from Hasbro, they each come with a mechanism, a little flappy mechanism. In this case, it kind of looks like a little web shooter, thingamajigger. It does have a launching missile, as indicated down below. Up at the top, you can see a picture, Andrew Garfield. What a fantastic looking suit. I can't wait to see this movie. Comic series, of course. This is the comic series. And I can tell you straight up, these definitely look like just simple simple repacks of the Spider-Man Fiercest Foes figure. Now granted, there are the movie line as well, but the comic series definitely looks like it's just a repackaged uh, Spider-Man Fiercest Foes, which are also reviews that I've recorded and uploaded if you wanted it. I'm, not, I'm just saying, if you wanted to check those out as well. But I like, I like the packaging quite a bit. And again, these just hit my Walmart. I snagged these immediately. On the back, Fire Missile Mega Cannon. You can go to Hasbro.com forward slash Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man.com as well. We zoom in. Several other figures that you can get. None of which have names, which is funny enough. But you can see there is a black costume Spider-Man. There is also what looks to be a Ben Riley Spider-Man. There is, I, I don't know, some sort of scuba suit Spider-Man, which was also there. And uh, Spider-Man wearing Nike shoes. This is backpacking Spider-Man. Apparently him and Mary Jane have gone out for a nice hike out into the woods. He's got himself some rock climb, climbing equipment, which is somewhat ironic that Spider-Man would be having rock climbing equipment with him. That would be almost as silly as uh, the Flash wearing roller skates. But I digress. You can collect them all, though. Collect them all. What I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Mega Cannon Spider-Man. Stay tuned. There's more on the way. Spider-Man certainly lives up to his title. He does come with quite a mega-sized cannon. It's a little ridiculous. It's a green, green, come on spot, that's yellow. That's a yellow cannon. Thank you. With uh, some webbing on the sides there. A little missile on the top. Kind of looks like a bug. Oh, and also, let's not lose sight of the fact that there is a spider logo going on there. Can you see it? Legs, legs. I assume we can just simply take this and snap it into Spider-Man's arm. There's really no uh, latch or clamp or anything like that. It's just basically a groove. But let's put that said groove on Spider-Man's arm. Snap that into place. It's very loose fit, let me tell you. So much so you can even see <laughs> it's not really staying on Spider-Man's arm. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the firing mega missile. We're gonna press the button here. Oh, and look, look at the wings. See what they're doing? Come on, Spot. Press the button. Let's push the missile in first. Press that button, fires off the missile. There's the missile right there. Don't get too attached to it. It's very likely that Spot's just going to pack this away. No one will ever see this missile or this firing missile mechanism ever again. But he does come with that. It appeals to the small children, I'm sure, of course. Yeah, make a Spider-Man with cannon! Uh, see, that's the kids love that kind of stuff. Moving aside, though... Uh, the real meat and potatoes is, uh, if you ask me, a really nice looking Spider-Man. I can't really for the life of me figure out what Spider-Man this is from. I know initially I had commented that I said it was just a repack of some of the Spider-Man Fiercest Foes. Now, I'm sure along the way, along this little road that we call Fiercest Foes, I'm sure along the way they have re released this figure at some point. I think it's very unlikely that they've released this solely for this line. 
Now while this figure does have a few hiccups, I can say though the figure itself is fantastic. One of which, one of the be best points to this figure, is the sculpt. Between the sculpt, and I definitely have to say another, uh, another pro for this figure as well, is it's got amazing coloring. Amazing Spider-Man coloring, you will, perhaps. But the red and the blue are vibrant. It, he's also a little bit, and I don't have the comparison, sadly, in front of me. I should have had a V8. But uh, I don't have the comparison in front of me. But if I had the Marvel Universe Spider-Man, which I'm sure many would people would say is a great Spider-Man, loads of articulation, uh, I would almost say... Let the hate mail, let the hate comments below start. I would almost say this is a superior Spider-Man. One thing, he doesn't have too scrawny of a neck, which is one of the problems that plagued some Spider-Man figures. In fact, the superposable Spider-Man from the Fiercest Foes line uh, was notorious, I believe, for having a very scrawny neck. The Spider-Man has a perfectly sculpted neck, and also, also, I want to say he's got a very nice-looking head sculpt. The biggest draw, I think, for this figure as well is the vibrant eyes. He's got these huge white McFarlane style eyes, and I think it looks awesome. Normally, we always get skimped on, on Spider Man's eyes, and I gotta say, the eyes on this Spider Man look awesome. He's also got himself, of course, the Spider Man logo, little emblem there. He's got the large one in the back, but the coloring is fantastic on these figures. I really, really am impressed. If I did collect Marvel Universe, and I really don't, not, not really all that much, but if I did, this Spider-Man is what I would consider a better looking Spider-Man at least to that of some of the Marvel Universe Spider-Man. Now granted, again, before everybody jumps down below and says, oh Spot, come on, the other one's a better figure. There are some, again, hiccups. Excuse me, somebody hiccup? No. There are a few hiccups with this figure that I'll get into in a second, but I think you certainly cannot deny the fact that this is a great looking figure. Now as for the hiccups, there are a few. By hiccups I mean while this is a really nice looking figure, and he's got definitely a lot going right with him, as you can see he's got one, I, I really always dislike the fact that Spider-Man is in a web shooting pose for on some of the hands. Uh, this hand actually is really nice. I like the hand on this Spider-Man quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, while he does have articulation good in some areas, there are some areas that have been completely omitted. For example, he has no wrist swivel, which is fine because he has the swivel in the bicep. He has no articulation in the waist. None. And probably the most damaging, or second, depending on where you put your priorities, he has no he has no uh, ball joint or pin or anything in his legs. His legs go as far out as they do right now. He's basically got a standard swivel. He also has no articulation in the ankles, which I think could have easily benefited this figure. Now there is also a superposable version of Spider-Man in the three and three quarter inch scale that likely will have all of that in this, or in the figure itself. Of the articulation on this Spider-Man, however, he does have a very satisfying ball joint. You can get different poses going on there. He's got a pin and socket in the shoulder, as you can see there, right there. See it? Right there. What? Right there. He does also have a pin and socket elbow. You can rotate the arm all the way around, bend the elbow as well. Again, no, no waist swivel, which is really a shame. I think that really could have made this figure that much better. Um, as for the legs again, he's got just that standard swivel back and forth. He does bend at the knee. That leg also rotates all the way around. And it doesn't look like he's got anything in the boot. And as mentioned, he has nothing in the ankle. But still, if you can overlook that, you ask this guy if anybody is interested and anybody cares what I think. I really like this Spider-Man quite a bit. The coloring is some of the best coloring I've seen on a Spider-Man 3 and 3 quarter inch scale figure. That's a pretty big statement, a pretty bold statement to make Spot. Well, I stand behind that. Uh, while I don't really, uh, 
I do shed a lone tear the fact that this Spider-Man doesn't have some of the articulation that I would have preferred. I do think that this is a really nice Spider-Man. And uh, again, if I could place where that Spider-Man came from, perhaps the Spider-Man is made solely for this line. It's very unlikely though, folks. Very unlikely. Um, Mega Cannon Spider-Man, even though I don't really like this gimmick all that much, I'm definitely going to give him a 7.5. Don't just walk by the toy, toy owl, my friend. Don't just walk by the toy owl and think, ugh, more Spider-Man, more Spider-Man. It's not even worth my time. I would say this is worth your time. Do, do pick these up if you get a chance. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Amazing Spider-Man comic series Mega Cannon, because he had this thing. Eh. Mega Cannon Spider-Man. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.